All right, we're back with another consummate opinion. We've yeah. got a lot of people here tonight. It's a full uh, house. McBride's here. Show's here. Interns here. Blue shirts Captain showed up. Blue shirts here. And uh, we have another special guest. The warden is here. It is uh, the intern's mom. Good evening, warden. You're talking to it. Speaking to the mic. To say? say whatever you want. <laughs> say hi. My name's the warden. All right, so, well, we're going to do uh, What's New With You, but first, uh, What's New With Me, uh, right. I've, got a, I've got a new name show. You're going to love this one. No more Joyce? Is this the send-off to Joyce? It's not going to be like a funeral, but uh, a you, funeral can call me either, you can call me either way. Oh, the intern has something to say. No, no, I just I want to announce it. All right. I'll allow it. I thought of it. I okay. found it fitting for his personality. So his um, new name is Dickhead. <laughs> unfortunately. Let's go. The goat. No. <laughs> That's Definitely a good one. Not. I'm, um, I votes for the goat. He now is going to go by my liege. Oh. So if you want to refer to I him. I think the intern can call him You don't have to say that. my. You yeah. don't have to say my. You could just say liege. That's fine. Or I'll go by Joyce, too, still. Yeah. Or uh, the definition from Merriam-Webster for liege, a feudal superior to whom allegiance and service are due. Mm. Just so you guys know. That's interesting. Just so you guys know. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of the mic show, it's going to be a. To speak into. That's you a only pet have four, I do. I have him in my phone as my liege, actually. Oh, wow. Well, since we're changing names, I want to be called the Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> the Pharaoh? <laughs> Blue shirt is now the Pharaoh. Yeah, if we're all going to vote for a name change here, I want to be the Pharaoh. <laughs> I'm striking down name changes. <laughs> Can I just yeah. have mine change? Is that okay? I, I'll allow it. I'm never going to call you my liege. <laughs> yeah, me either. So but I'm going to stick with show, so no, no change here. I never it's real original. Joyce. Joyce is my grandmother's name, so. Well, what does nice. that mean? I don't know. I mean, it's Why? nice. It's a nice name, old-fashioned. He's an old-fashioned lady. I'm an old-fashioned lady. You still have class. I like goat. Thanks. No, a goat's I not really goat. like goat. Show can be goat. Yeah, show is the recipient of it all. Yeah, so. he's the, yes, I've seen the goat He's the recipient times. of it all. He's the goatee. All right, so I guess we'll do what's new with you. We should start with. Uh, well, everything's new with her. Give it. Let's do with the new new. You are the warden because when. What's I new with you, noob? <laughs> noob. Her her name is the warden. This is my mom. Because when me and my brother were younger, she used to chase us around the house with a wooden paddle. Nice. So That's proper parenting right there. That is such a fabrication. A fabrication That's of truth. No. I did not chase you around. Yeah, you never she ran. Didn't you have to just beat her your ass. You right never there. ran. You were crippled with fear, oh, so she just beat you where you stood. Bullshit. So I was the warden because they felt like they were in boot camp or something. Prison. I, don't know. I would have gone with prison. That's the problem with America nowadays. We don't beat our kids anymore. That is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough beating, beating with wooden children. objects. I got the spoon when I was a kid. Anyone else get the spoon? I got a belt. Well, my dad did the belt. Mom was the spoon. I got anything within reach. That laptop. She, she <laughs> had a giant, like, um, like a wooden spoon, like this big, and like a fork set. Oh, yeah. And it would just hang on the wall. Oh, yeah. Those Shit, were. That yeah, my those my grandpa would have broke that off in my ass the first. No homo. Whoa. Wait a <laughs> second. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird. I caught that. So your grandfather broke things off the tree in your ass. Tree limb. In your butt. Old school. There'd be blood when they were switch. done. Oh, yeah, switch. So tree. after your grandfather was done breaking things off in your butt, there would be blood. Then yeah. he went well, to church. Back to then he went to the church. Thing again. I got you. I made an awesome <laughs> joke. I don't think anyone heard me. What happened? Okay, so we said. Hey, what happened? See, I caught that. I said, "Are you used to catching?" Oh. <laughs> ah, well, it's wow. kinda well, you opened anyone? the door, Shell. It was yeah. kind of your fault. The back door, apparently. Oh. <laughs> He's adding insult to injury. Yeah, hey, really you know, are. you guys think what you may. Honesty, best policy. I like it, Shell. Yeah. Okay. What's new with uh, who are we going to now? I guess the let's intern. Go, let's go with intern. Uh, nothing really. Oh, that's working. exciting. Still engaged. I think he finished mowing the lawn today. Nice. So once Taking again, my intern <laughs> steals. Wait, speaking of mowing the lawn, are you going to cover that fucking hole on the side of your yard? 
No, see, the mower actually ate the top to that uh, about three times ago. I've counted every week that I've come. It's been there. That's like five weeks worth of. It's the cover to some sprinkler wires and stuff that's in there. No. It's a little round hole. I'm gonna step in it and sweep you. Mm. That sounds like a solid plan. Is it the hole that whiskey puss always fell in? No, no, that's just a that's just a dip in the yard. That's a natural. That's a sinkhole. That's you would think he would cover that hole, and he hasn't. I don't care. All right, well, I'll look into it, show. I'll look into yeah. it. Problem, man. Maybe that'll be next week's so what's new with him. I mowed right over it, trust me. Okay. What's new with me? Let's see. Uh, well, we already know you mowed the lawn. Yeah, uh, mowed the lawn. Still engaged. Um, let's see. Got uh, got something for our uh, year anniversary that's coming up. Ooh. Oh, isn't it romantic? Can't talk about that, though. All right. What is it? I won't tell her. <laughs> Um, the wooden spoon's about to come out. <laughs> oh, the wooden spoon. <laughs> no, uh, and then later that day, of course, this is in the. There's going to be probably three or f- about two or three shows in the meantime. But we're going to go to Texas Day Brazil. Pretty excited about that. Never I don't been. even know what that means. I'm not even quite sure what it is. It's a Brazilian it's steakhouse where they like walk to the table and they cut the meat off like the s- the bone, the cow. Oh, that's. A stick. Well, no, not like not like lamb. lamb. No, that's lamb. that's the the that's gyro. Not, man, that's a lot of that's a lot of other stuff. Well, I know they they literally have waiters that walk around to the table and they just cut slices of meat. So it's like a yeeha hibachi. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. That's so like kind of yeah, like what cool. they do. A yeeha. Ste- no, it's Brazilian. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, Brazilian. Oh, oh, so. <laughs> so it's a ipa ipa steakhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we finally, uh, well, it's kind of stealing some of your thunder. We finally got it to the point to where we can get this monetized and make money off the ads. Yeah, secrets revealed. So like and uh, like the page, subscribe to the page. Make sure you have everyone like the page. I'm not telling you to do this, but click on the ads. <laughs> yeah, click on the ads. Every time you go on, click on them. It's not you paying. Yeah, you're not paying. You're just, you're just looking at it. You're just helping it, it out. Just look at it. Why are you looking at me? Helping out the cause. No, I don't visit that site. I have my own. I just, oh. just want to say, while we're in the beginning of this, um, my dad is coming to stay with us uh, tomorrow. He's going to get here after I get off work, and he's leaving on Sunday. We had him go and listen to the show, and he's been texting me. Um, he, I said that we usually end this in kind of like drunk messes, but it's been better lately. Um, he said that we should start this show drunk. Uh, it's a bad idea. Apparently. It's a very bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> See, intern, that would have been perfect. For what's drink, new with so. you? We're still in the, the area. All right. So she gets two what's news? That's yeah, I fair. guess. That's fair. That means she should touch the electric tennis racket. Yeah, I think that's what that means. Right. Oh, the well, warden hasn't do done that yet. I, I she won't do I it. I don't wish to be referred to as the warden. What would you like your name to be? How about Mother Warden? No, no warden. How about MW? Let's compromise. No. <laughs> no. All right, we'll just call I you mom. You guys can just figure it out. Let me know. Really? Okay, so you'll just you be mom. You might want to pick your own name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I wouldn't pick leave your it own up name. to them. What's new? Why we we pick good names. Last week, Whataburger, Data. Yeah, fantastic very fitting. names. Very fitting. All right, we'll come up with we'll come up with one for we'll Warden. We'll think of something. A little less, a little less Warden esque. Uh, what's new with me? Not a whole bunch. Spending a lot of time at home with the baby. The woman is working while I go to school, so I'm a stay-at-home dad, which is actually pretty friggin' awesome. I love doing it. I don't miss working Yeah, it's at awesome all. when the baby's asleep. No, my baby's great. I love my baby. His baby is like perfection. Thank you. Like, See? No Someone it's saw my baby. It's called Sudafed. Joyce saw my baby today. How, how cute and adorable and well-behaved was my baby? She was really good. Yeah, fantastic. I said it's called Sudafed. No, no, it's NyQuil. No, NyQuil is way awake. cheaper than Sudafed. Playing with one of those crunchy books. She was reading. She's a loud reader. She's a crunchy book. It's crunchy books. That's about it with me. Spent some time. I ate at the mall today. That's always that's always an adventure. I love Sarku Japan. That's what I had. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Sarku no, Japan. Can't. It's been there for like 20 years. Yeah. That doesn't happen in the food court. I'm sorry. No. Unless you're Wendy's or McDonald's. You got to have something unique. I ate at Lucky Dill today. You guys eat there a lot, don't you? No, she used to work there. Oh, yeah, she used to work there. That's right. Great food. Their soups, delicious. Sandwiches, too big. Good pickles. Desserts, fantastic. This is not an advertisement. See, show goes straight to the pickles. 
Yeah, I well. used to deliver food there, and then we well, delivered pickles to them all the Do you time. like pickles or like the short, <laughs> like the little baby gherkins? They're like four inches, just yeah, the little the ones. The four-inch ones. That's the one we The baby doing. gherkins. That's, that's, more, that's more your deal. hey -o. Blue shirt, what's new with you? Uh, you got some revenge. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, plus one really put it to you last I'm week. I'm not going to throw any low blows. We'll let her, we'll let her finally, finally get something. I keep crushing her hopes. And aspirations. I don't think it, have I met plus one. No. Uh, no, I don't think you were. No, I don't think he was no. here for a sh for one of those. No, I haven't. The, are you actually. smarter than a Hooter girl? No. I don't uh, think he could forget. New for me. My son took a few steps today. Really? Yeah. A like few real steps. First steps. Ah, uh, he's been attempting more, but now he's like getting a little. He's getting more ballsy now. Now he's like, I was like, oh, okay, I could kind of like balance this out for a minute, and then bam, plummet into my face, yes. but. <laughs> He's, uh, Get he's it on getting video. It. Yeah, that's what I got it. And then uh, what else is new with me? I got sat down at work and told that uh, I need to calm down on people, I guess. Yeah, didn't you beat somebody up not too no, long ago? No, I never beat nobody up. Oh, okay. At work? Jesus. Oh, yeah, not at work. Not at work. Or ever. Okay. Possibly. I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I, I think I need to find better or different employment. I think the field I work in isn't the best. For my personality, I'm not good n pamper. Oh, you should come uh, be a manager at Hooters. Nah, I wouldn't work there <laughs> too well either. I need to work around people that I can't like offend. If you're like, if you're like sensitive to anything, I'm eventually gonna get under your skin. You should be unemployed. Unemployed? Yeah, that's the best option for that. Nah, yeah. nah. There's, a, there's plenty of other options of employment. And where especially I don't have to if be you're sensitive. doing, if you're doing medical field. You're going to offend everybody. You Take should be a me. contractor. Well, I'd be the paramedic where I only work a patient for 30 minutes and not 12 hours. And then they die. If they do, then I'm definitely going to offend he them. He brings them to me and then they die. Nice. Wow. No, my, my brother's Standard the procedures biggest. there for the hospital system in Florida. My, bro my brother is the biggest douche you could possibly oh, wow. ever meet, ever. Is that lizard guy? Uh, yeah, he's up there. <laughs> um, what did you say? Is that lizard guy? Yeah, it's okay. lizard guy. Um, That's his name if no, he ever comes on the show. No, but he's a contractor, and he makes really Lizzie. great money, and contractor he's not around people. Say Lizzie. Lizzie. He does. What does he do? He's a subcontractor for Bright House. He's a subcontractor for Bright House. And being the mother of this child, I would or like to put a disclaimer that that is her personal opinion. So wait, 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 wait. Not a fact. Of his personality. So the warden do does not, not think your brother's a douchebag. Oh, wait, no, it's do not the not warden. Agree? Don't get yourself in trouble. Well, until we come up with something new, Honestly. it's the warden. Yeah. Disclaimer: She's told me she agrees before. So continue. Wow. <laughs> Lizard guy. Got anything else? Tore up. Um. No, man. Ready for school to be done. Has it started? Yeah, five months into. It. Oh, you've been into it this semester. Okay. That's why I wasn't here last show. That's an acceptable reason. Didn't throw that in yeah, that's not what we. Heard. No, she was just talking crap about. Yeah, it. yeah. No, 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 no. Everyone else. Glad it doesn't offend you, show. Yeah. What's new with you? <laughs> <laughs> for, for some reason, these guys think I have a small penis. I don't know where we got that from, but it was usually it was visual. It was all we just. You know, I, I haven't it. had any visuals of that. What's no? new with me? I don't know. Nothing. I'm just working and being a dad like these guys. Anyone die? I did have an accident. Yeah, we yeah, heard about an this. Accident, yeah. We heard yeah, small yeah. details about yeah, this. My daughter Strange. threw the iPhone from the back seat to the front seat, slammed into the dash, scared the shit out of me. I turned and looked at her and looked at my wife like, what the f... And then I looked back and, oh, there was a guy stopped in front of me. Yes. So I slammed on the brakes and I skidded and I hit him at about four inches more and I would have missed huh. him. Four <laughs> inches? <laughs> he told me four that and I go, inches. dude, you got to save this <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's good. gold. That's no, good. literally, it's like six inches, four inches, I would have missed it, but I busted out my headlight. Ugh. A brand new car. That could have been worse. So you got into a really bad car accident. The headlight assembly, you know. You'd have missed the telephone pole, though. Well, my daughter in this car seat never woke up, so we didn't hit that hard. Wasn't You're good. That, bad. that could have ended a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, though. But you know what's funny? The three and a half year old, when we drive by Tarpon, she knows. She goes, she starts talking about the accident. That's it. That's the spot. She's because she knows that she's the reason we had it. Was 
How old is she? guilting her into this? Is she three? Well, I did tell her it was her fault. And <laughs> how old? <laughs> how old's your daughter? I said, well, listen, I, the guy that was walking up, he was taking my insurance information. This is my fault. And I kind of played the pity, pity card on him. And I was talking to my daughter in the back. So I said, you know what happened? We had an accident. You broke the car. I told oh, her she broke the car. That's she brutal. Goes, well, let's get a new one. I'm like, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's. 30 grand. I'll just buy it. Kids. They're but, great. No, well, anyways. How old's your kid? Did you say three and, and a half. half or four? Three and a half. Okay. Yeah, it should be four soon. Yeah, we can relate <laughs> to the four. Anything four. But uh, that's it. Just work and. That's no fun. Trying to stay out of trouble. All right. Well, now let's get into trouble. What's new? What's what's the news? What's the scoop? I have to start every week with one of these. Usually it's mother of the year, but this time it's couple of the year. Is this Florida man? No, Colorado. All right. Colorado woman who reported as seeing a young boy left alone in a hot car was allegedly run over by the child's mother and must now use a wheelchair. Oh, no. That's that foul. How does that happen? There's no way. It's on Fox News. I, I mean, if it was on something like maybe Smoking National Gun. National Enquirer. Well, National Enquirer, yeah, it could be that. Mother was Hitler. Uh, That's why we need to stop saving these people. We just need to let them die. So the child's mother was identified as 27-year-old Christina Riddell, reportedly became enraged when she heard the couple on the phone with police. She allegedly punched the lady, I will call her Dominguez, Dominguez's boyfriend, Alan, before running the couple over with her white Honda. Wow. Child was in the car with all four windows rolled up and in the direct sun. We need to know someone named Dominguez, because that's awesome. What's up, Dominguez? Hey, the incident, which occurred June 7th, left Dominguez so badly impaired that doctors say she may never walk again. And this is the one who for, was for trying doing the to right thing? tell someone about the kid. Calling being the locked. police. Yeah, doing the right thing, getting the child so out of the car. What happened? The mom came out and was pissed, and she ran her over? Yes, absolutely. Did wow. you say the story about that the other day? Some kid, 23 years old, he was celebrating his birthday at a titty club. And As is tradition. And the guy out, and the guy, he, he said, hey, why don't you just leave? He left, he ran him over, killed him. Oh. 23-year-old kid. It's kind of the same story. That's a sad that story. It's like down somewhere in Florida. Strange. Strange. Weird. Was it Pasco or Pinellas? No. It's, it no. was Florida County. That's south of here. Somewhere. Pasco or Pinellas. Didn't we talk about this last night in that Pasco County slam book? How amazing that is? If you haven't seen it, you have to check it out. Pasco County slam book. Is that one of the, the, the who's in jail kind of things? Kind of, but it just tells funny. Yeah, we used to have tons of fun on who's in jail. Was I sleeping when this happened? I don't uh, no, well, it might not have been the last show. It could have been the one before. Who knows? But the uh, it's on Facebook. It's like a thing that basically just makes fun of Pasco County. Which is not hard to do if you've ever been there. No, and one, one was even someone getting arrested in another county, and they're like, but well, probably from Pasco. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't even like a, it, it's not completely legit. All right, so next story. This is going to be funny. You probably never use this app show. Oh, no. <laughs> From the Chicago Tribune, Chubby Checker, Hewlett Packard, settled a lawsuit over penis measuring app. <laughs> the singer Chubby Checker has settled a lawsuit in which he was accused Hewlett Packard of using his trademark name without permission on a software app that measured the size of a man's penis. The app was called The Chubby Checker. See, he's going to win that. Chubby oh, Checker, he did. Chubby no, Checker is not going to win. Who won? The guy who made it or Chubby Checker? Chubby, Chubby Checker. Checker. That's not true. Well, it said they settled the lawsuit. It doesn't say what the actual... He would have lost that in court because his name is Chubby Checker, and that's called The Chubby Checker. Three distinctive words. A comma in there would have won that lawsuit. Well, he said he doesn't want his name used in that type of likeness. Why the hell not? What's his is that his? I mean, he's is he's that his, his legal name? Was he like I, probably not. But well, then he has no case. He's in his seventies. Is he relevant anymore? No. no. He should want his name out there. He gets some money off of it. I'll tell you what they settled. That tracks my penis size. They settled. He gets a dollar every time the app's bought. And that's probably what it is. Chubby checkers. Could be. It's, it's kind of a neat play on words. I mean, think, think about like being like, oh, I, I really need a fucking app to track my my dick size. I mean, has has no one ever heard of a ruler? Who doesn't know their dick size anyway? And honestly, most phones are four inches long. What? I mean, shit, your yeah. Your ID is I three mean, inches, exactly. What is going to happen there? You say your ID is three inches? Are you inches? measuring this on, an, There's on, no a, way. on a smartphone? Three What's ID? In Internal dick? When I was in the Marine Corps, they used to measure your hair to make sure it was in regulations by your ID. They would measure your what hair? My ball hair. 
with <laughs> wow, three inches. I can't let it get beyond three inches. It'd, it'd be fucking unsafe. You're not aerodynamic that's anymore. Shit. That's yeah, I guess gross. I need to go shave. <laughs> three inches of ball hair. That's a great band name right there. Band name called it. <laughs> three inches of ball hair. <laughs> we should rename the show. Oh man, that could be your new name. No, no, I don't want that name. Three I O B H. His ass hair only had to be five inches. I don't, I don't know where they got. <laughs> That's not real. Weird. I don't know. No, what'd you say? He said butt hair was only five inches. Compromise. So while we're in the middle of this and everything, um. Okay. She, whatever her name is, mom. Um, she's. Uh, one of those people who are, like, usually in bed by 10 o'clock. Okay. So I'd like to see what she has to say before I know she is, you know, ready to dip out of here. Or is she there a topic that you wanted to discuss? Is is the warden bailing? See what I did there? <laughs> 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 she came to me the other day and said that she had a problem. Okay. It's oh, like yeah. She, she wanted some help. You need, you need, you got questions, we got answers. This is actually probably the perfect room for this question. All right, let's bring it. Maybe not you. So, do you, would you like to ask (laughs) the question? I would not. Come on. I would like somebody else to be the question asker, and I will be the end. All right, so just ask for a friend of yours from Canada. Don't try to find her. Phone a friend. (laughs) Phone a friend. All right, intern ask. Yeah, intern. So, my mother's problem is that she is. A beautiful lady in her... Oh, I heard about this. And she seems to only attract 20-year-olds. Boo-hoo! And she feels that there's a significant problem and doesn't understand why 20-year-olds are attracted to her. Multiple. Like, they come out of every direction. Younger guys like older women. That's what I said. But you're looking for a relationship, right? Yes. You I'm don't just want. Be 47 years old. I, I don't want know your name. All I want, bang, bang, bang. You want something more than bang, 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 I right? Would wow. Like somebody to want to spend time with me longer than you know. Were you just singing no. that? Why well, you said this wasn't it for me? Sounded like you were singing <laughs> that. Eh? That's I'm step just one. Saying, I have tried the dating sites and I have reached out to guys that were attractive. What age group are you looking for? Age and they don't even reply to my hellos. Because yeah, those guys why? are they're are looking, looking for the for 20 year old girls. It's, see, you have the exact problem of the guys you're looking for, but those guys are probably creeps anyway. What age group are you looking for? My age? Okay, that was, to ask? that was full of details. <laughs> no, she already said it. Yeah, well, there's definitely a problem when uh, she's seeing somebody who's younger than my fiance. How's that a problem? Well, all right, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Player, I hate the game. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> There's rules to the game. <laughs> Every game comes it's with rules. It's not my fault. I don't do it on purpose. It's just, I, I don't Well, look, know are you a kindergarten you teacher and is it one of your students? That's, no, that's. I don't, it's not in my nature. That's not who I am. She's All right, been well, doing look. this for about 10 years. That's it is in her nature. You have. This is not true. You have just tapped into a wellspring of 24 to 43 year olds. I mean, no one is listening to this show except those people. And most of them have wieners. Is that the age group you're looking for? No, I'm looking to, to be with someone 40, my age. 40, 45, 40, 50? I will be 47 in November. Okay, so you want someone between 40 and 50? I'd rather not be 50. <laughs> be <laughs> right. So we're going this, younger. This, was, this is what I was trying to get at. So, so we'll, go, maybe 40, we'll go 35, 45. How about that? Okay, but maybe... Okay, we'll 40, 45. Something. You heard it, yeah, listeners. 40, you heard it here today. Win a date with the warden. So post your comments on the site, on YouTube. <laughs> Explain <laughs> why you should be the one who Call dates the warden. warden. The dating what game. Listen, when you date the warden, warden you like. will be serving, like. you're going to be serving hard time. I'm just going to throw that out there. Serving hard time. Take a trip <laughs> down to Cobb County, Georgia. All kinds of cuff, chains and bars. Yeah, you're, it's going to be, let's yeah, just yeah, say, you, welcome to the penal, dominated. to penal colony. <laughs> The penal system. The penal system. So post post on the website, post on the YouTube. Tell us why you should win a date with the warden. And Joyce and I will look over it. We'll, we'll pick the best one. We'll consult with the intern. And then uh, I think we'll I think the warden will be happy, right? And everything will be okay. Got anything, show? No. Show, you're in that age group, aren't you? I, I robbed a cradle, so that's... Uh, 
Oh, you have some older friends, though, right? Tell what are you trying it's to about say? show? Yeah, no, show's so. in that age group. That's what I'm saying. So you got some friends in that age group. Yeah, they're all married. They're what am I supposed to do when guys my okay. age are not looking for women my age? Am I just stuck with dating 20-year-olds? It's just going to take you longer Why to find them. They'll be 40 in 20 years. Jeez. Nice input. I mean, shit. Can I just say, um, what, hold up. What was uh, the redneck that works in the kitchen's name? Oh, oh wow. Setting this guy up to be a winner. Benji. Okay. Benji. Bobby um, no game. Yeah, oh, you, yeah. You, you don't apply. want that. You don't count. <laughs> you don't yeah. matter. And if you're listening. <laughs> Feel free to apply. I would love to see that game. Damn, that was right at this guy? Yeah. You do. He's just an, yeah, he's an idiot. He, you didn't listen to the show he was on. Well, yeah, but he's he's one of them. Okay. This is the one you saw in traffic. He's a legit idiot, Mom. as I like to call a legit idiot. Yeah, he, yeah, he actually told me he's got a chance with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, now he's got some Nothing competition. Nothing but laughter. In, in all of our millions and millions of avid listeners... Uh, he's probably not going to win. All right, so I'm going to keep a look on the uh, the YouTube page. Post pics if you want. No dick pics or anything like that. Send those. Oh, Speaking shit. of dick pics, did you hear? Did you get, by the way? Of what? On the dick pics on the dating site. Um, none. No, Lies. Yeah. I mean, that, not that one dick pic. Bull crap. <laughs> Bullshit. I, no woman joins a dating website now in the year 2014 and doesn't get a dick pic. Did you ever it, get the it's Buffalo impossible. Bill? It's impossible. Like, tucked between the legs. Oh, no. I love the Buffalo Bill. It's so fun. I don't even know. Bounty. No ears, earmuffs, earmuffs. Silence no, Buffalo Bill lambs. from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. I don't. I've never watched that. I'd no. fuck me. You have a daughter. We know. We know. <laughs> Would you fuck that. me? I'd fuck I'd me. Fuck me. <laughs> There's a wild side to you. But there's no lie. Oh, definitely. Come Saturday and you'll meet my father. Huh? That's you'll, good. You'll That'll be a good show. Oh. I'm trying to figure out names for him. And, uh, it's already hot in here enough. I we'll do one. We'll get one. Been seriously All right, so for four and a half years, I hear we have a twist with I the uh, with the game. Like, it's time. Twist with the game. It's yeah, game. The game we usually play, the Hooters Girl oh game. Gosh. There's a twist. I feel like this is turning into something yeah. very bad. Tell me we about gotta it. bait the hook huh? to catch fish. Tell us about it. Why are you guys having, the WWE you, like, game? having a conversation over here on the side? We're having a conversation over here. Well, no, we can't double converse. We we, have we got smart, more. We, have we, we got more listeners. Still. We have smart listeners. No, I just want to wet their whistle. Oh, uh, we're the, gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do. Happy. We're gonna do wrestling yeah. trivia yeah. here in a little bit. Ooh. Wrestling yeah. trivia. And wrestling wrestling trivia. No well, who we know that girls. it's got anything to do with the size or we anything to do with the Undertaker's nutsack. We know yeah. who will win. Oh, yeah. we, we haven't answered the question That's yet. It. So what? What is the exact question, though? Why? Can I not seem to attract men my age? Because younger looking, guys like older women. Because you're looking on like the internet. Or older men like younger girls. Yeah. It's for like the most part. Complete opposite. Plenty of no, 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 no. My age you are looking on the internet. Or husbands. You're looking on the internet. I did that for a brief time. Where else have you been looking? Um, Starbucks. Well, Starbucks are getting a lot I'm of the younger really guys. Looking. I'm just. Starbucks is a known milf hunting location. Go to church. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Laugh. I don't think that works. Can of worms <laughs> just opened. <laughs> Can of worms. <laughs> oh, Home, Home Depot. Depot. Yeah, actually Good Home Depot. Answer. Good answer. Good answer. Bunch, yeah. bunch of jobbers, yeah. Can someone that blue shirt talk in the mic when yeah. he speaks? Yeah. Here, talking to both of them. Yeah, why don't you guys both pass, We're pass trying your to mics over. Nope. No homo. He got <laughs> Looks like blue shirt's going skiing over there. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got them both. <laughs> Go to Home Depot. That's where you're going to pick up some men your age. Okay. I, I did that already, shopping at Home Depot. I got I got no no bites. Try Kohl's. Kohl's? Uh, yeah, they're for men? Somebody, men somebody's in there. Kohl's? What really? about? No, that's crazy. And is it Kohl's? Where do you buy suits at? That's Kohl's, right? No. No. What is that? Right on Little. Right where I work. That's no, I, I don't know. That is a Kohl's. Yeah, that's Kohl's. Right on the corner by the yeah. Wawa. Right next to w uh, Home Depot? Yeah. 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 That's what it's pronounced saying. water in turn, not wawa. It's a wawa. Hmm. What is it? I'm just making fun of you. Go to the grocery store in the fruit section. <laughs> what about the what about total wine? You know, or a place if you like want to meet yeah. someone, yeah. don't go when shopping. I around Walmart, this is what happened. Oh, don't. Oh, 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 there's your first that's problem. You said that. Walmart. <laughs> guys that stalk, follow me around. Yeah, don't they do that. They talk to me. Can I give you my number? Can I have wow. your number? Wow, I could get you know, them fired, amazing. actually. Uh, no, because you're like 19. 
Uh, I'm 22. Uh, I feel your yeah. pain. I feel your pain. You want to meet guys your own age, but you have to hear how you sound to most women out there. And right how now. do you feel her pain? You're going complaining. To guys, you're, you just you're complaining that you're attracting people. Like that's incredible. They're like 20 years old. Okay, ask them if they have a dad. What if, what if you? <laughs> they have a dad. Just, okay, the best game. I've done is hang the out with them. I was 29. Hang out with Ooh. them. Play video games with them. Like go over to their game. house. Meet their parents. Oh, then I'm date probably their older parents. Than parents. Would that be? No. Well, yeah, 29 year old's parents are going to be a little Could be yeah. right around, yeah. I do. And a 28 year old son. And they say, age doesn't matter. It's age just is just a number. number. Age it's is just, just a, a number. number. Yeah. I love you. You're beautiful. You want to hang out around the military base. I, I oh, there you go. See, that's probably not. Well, yeah, go hang out by the okay. docks. Meet some sailors. <laughs> <laughs> So she did that. You know, look, dating. It's been a while since show. I've been. It's been a while since I've been out a of the gun dating show. Game. Oh, don't go to a gun show. <laughs> Have you ever been to a gun show? No, I've never been to a gun show. You're, you're, you're playing with fucking fire. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're that thing is. First of all, my dad was in the Marines when they met, and hey. second of all, he is a redneck, so that kind of cancels. Yeah, out so everyone has a type. You don't want that type idiots. again, right? I don't think. I don't think I have a type. Everyone's got a type. Look, Ted DiBiase said it. Everyone's got a price. Everyone's going to pay. Everyone's got a type. Everyone's going to date. That's all there is to it. You should be thankful that all the old men aren't chasing after I'll you. I'll give you some they decent do. advice. I have that, too. They're like 80 and Ugh, balls. And old man that. balls. You don't want to see old man balls. Around like a, uh, Fuck like it. Look, she's money, not I mean. looking for a boy toy or money. She wants a relationship. I think she'd take money. It's not as easy. No, I don't care about <laughs> It's not easy. Look, I'm going to give you some good advice, and then we're going to move on to the next segment. This is probably going to be the best answer. Dating Dating is a lot like fishing, right? Everyone. I don't care if he was 16. Everyone. Hey. <laughs> what was the, f the big titty bitch who married the old guy and he died? What was her name? The blonde. Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith. Look, yeah. Anna Nicole Smith, shut up. Dating is a lot like fishing. You got to go to certain places to catch a certain type of fish, and you got to use a certain type of lure to catch a certain type of fish. Okay. You don't want to go fishing at a disgusting bar or Walmart or the gun show. Go to I I said that. places normal. But you don't want to meet people at a gun show. Come on. That's a little absurd. Not to date. I mean, hang out with them, yeah, and go shoot <laughs> stuff. That's great. I'm, not, I'm talking about go romantic kill. relationships. You just got to think about what you're looking for and where you got to find that. It's, it's like anything. You're not going to find Prince Charming walking around the aisles of Walmart, unless it's meant to be, and in which case it's not going to be one you're looking for it. You're not going to find something like a quality dude going and hanging around at shitty bars, walking around Walmart, going to gun shoes, and especially if you're, like, desperate looking for it. What I've found in my life gun show down like three times, man. is whenever... Yeah, don't look. Just stop. Just go hang out, be yourself, have fun. That's when you're going to meet people. And it might not be the people you meet that you're going to date. It might be someone you meet through those people. I'm just saying... Be normal, have fun, hang out with people. I'm a pride. I'm done talking. I met the love of my life at work. See, there you go. But were you looking for him? No, you went there because you had to. You were working, and you met him. It just happened to be. He was your boss. He told you, look, if you don't come into the back room, and you're done. Actually, it's curtains show, for your career. Show and I used to work together, and he still doesn't stop texting me weird stuff. <laughs> hey, we all need money. Well, go ahead and tell him what I texted you today. It don't matter. No, I really don't want to yeah, say no that. No one wants to hear that. It's, it's more homo on you than it is me. No one wants to hear that. You said it, though. All right, so uh, next thing before we get to the animal portion and then we get to our little quiz. All right. Parents, doctors concerned by pass out games. Something I've never heard this of before. This is old. I remember this when I was well, a this kid. Well, this is, a, yeah, this is a story as of the other day. I, I've never, never heard of this about. What did they call that back in the day, where you would hold the guy up against the wall by his throat? Yeah, yeah. squeeze him. Yeah, that's nah, it wasn't called the pass out game. It was like we had a more cunning name for it. it I don't something know what cool. it was. I did it once and I yeah, fucked no my thanks. friend up, man. Busted his eye open. Oh, uh, well, here we go. Here we go. That did that chokehold. They, I think. I was DBS, the Million Dollar Dream. Yeah. Here's okay. here's what it's videos might not be anything new. They also pop up as blackout, space monkey, flatliner, or blackout. suffocation roulette. I think it was called blackout. And that was the one. I remember that. Yes. I want to start looking into this. I mean, what happens to Did these people is very entertaining, like, even though some of them have died. Oh, it's yeah, it's they hilarious. Kind of seizures. Well, yeah, you're stopping your brain and body from doing what it's supposed to do, and that's living and breathing. Do, uh, do you remember being that hard up to have a good time when you were young? To, hey, dude, 
uh, come over here and choke me out until I pass out. That's going to be awesome. Never wanted to do No. Anything. I was like, dude, hold the controller while I go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't kill me. That. Way worse things? Fuck yeah. Are you serious? Uh, choking each other until we passed out was the least of anybody's worries, man. Wow. This just got interesting. So what did you do, Blue Shirt? Shit, man. I remember, like, being an asshole kid and, like, throwing rock through people's windows while they were sleeping and stuff. Well, throwing rocks is... Well, it, it's not going to get you killed, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well... Depending on who lives at that house. Yeah. No. I think he just I think he just admitted to a murder without saying so much. No, no. Oh, you want a fucking bet? <laughs> There's a dead guy in Palm Harbor right now that would disagree with you. It was just big old rock. I, I can think of way worse things that I did as a kid than the. All right, so let's I hear can. some. So far, we've heard throwing rock through a window. That's not worse. I can remember fucking standing in my backyard right where 56 and 54 meet and we're just firing wildly into the woods and it's like literally firing a what? half bullets BBs wrist paintball rockets, bro wrist rockets nice oh those big old slingshots yeah. those were fun those ones that are with the, with the wristband oh yeah no, we, I we called we those bird destroyers guns. we were kids firing guns because I didn't have any fucking rules and uh, I can remember like right at the intersection of 56 and 54 I am so happy we didn't kill anybody man yeah, you're pretty lucky about that. Probably wouldn't be here right now. Probably not. Drinking Coors Light. I probably would be. would be Captain I'd Orange shirt. <laughs> yeah, you'd be Captain Orange shirt as well. Right. You'd be drinking something, but it wouldn't be Coors Light. <laughs> Did you it'd guys be, ever it'd be those Bubba those Rich. Potato guns? Yeah. Those oh, are yeah, intense. Those. I've, ne I've, I've never played with it's a potato gun. It's like Slingshots were more my thing. Take a grill igniter. What are you doing? Slingshots were more my thing, I was just saying. I remember I shot, a, rockets. I shot a uh, dove on a fence. I was a little <laughs> kid. And I didn't hit him or kill him, but I hit him right in his ass. And, dude, his ass exploded into, like, this tapestry of feathers. And he just flew away. It was pretty amazing. With a slingshot? There. Oh, yeah. With one of those. Kind of gay use the word tapestry. See, I used to oh. play with, like, those <laughs> Sorry. Th like Japanese throwing stars and knives. And we those just are dangerous. Size. 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 That is That's what I would play those with. Those are Hold dangerous on. as hell. Oh my Hold God. on. Cher okay. wants to talk about size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's never going to get old. It never is. I think right, show's so over it. <laughs> let's, let's switch to the animals part. This is actually really bad. Um, Four-year-old Logan Shepard was mauled to death by two pit bulls. I saw this. This, this is was, terrible. Um, 10, 11 days ago. See, as someone... I know, I'm not Lucia, you have a pit bull. I'm not a I fan do. of pit bulls. I, do. I had a pit bull, um, little baby, a female pit bull. She was cool. But overall, they're going to end up hurting you. Or For someone. The most part. Or someone. Somebody. Maybe not you. The yeah. breed? You're talking about? The breed people? overall, just because, I, I mean, years back. It doesn't have to be just, it's just inbred in them. That's definitely something you should bring up on Saturday. I think. I think that's okay. really, I'm really glad Plus One isn't here because she'd have flipped the lid. But oh, she I've, pit bull I've, lover. Seen, I've yeah. seen you guys' dog. I, I've, Dog's I've, I've really up, nice. I grew up with pit bulls my entire life. And, like, I, up until probably I was like 16, that's when we finally changed the dog. And uh, we've never had a problem with them. They're just, it's just how you raise them, man. And if you raise them where they're just like secluded, any animal. You know, the, the funny thing, too, is like everybody has this like fear of pit bulls, man. But more Labradors kill. Yeah, there's a lot of different dogs that are bad news. Type of dog that we have Dalmatians but a pit bull no Dalmatians if a pit bull bites somebody it's going to make that's a difference headlines it's going to yeah. be pit bull but well, there's if also a kid a dies from a Labrador it's going to say dog or dog kills kid to leave you fucking wondering if it's a pit yeah, bull yeah that's the not. news you can't that's, that's just what they do my dad always my dog had is. pit bulls and my uncles there also is a big uncles. difference between a lab or, or some other kind of dog biting you and a pit bull biting you like their jaw and the way they bite they're designed they're going to bite you and they're not going to let go I mean, they, it's a, that's another thing that's completely false because it was proven that a that a German Shepherd has the most powerful bite. Well, you're talking about a dog that was literally bred to hunt and kill people. A, well, I mean, that's a pit, what German Shepherds are. Yeah, I mean, a pit bull was, I guess, originally bred for like you know dog fighting, fighting. and stuff like that. But things that make them a great dog. I'm not a hater of them. You know, if you've oh, yeah. been around that's a another child, dog. They were designed to hunt wolves. Much, you know, and uh, one good thing about them though is, you know, I got an 11 month old baby, and uh, they're extremely tolerant, man. They are if they're raised right. They have a high pain tolerance. My son could pull on her and stuff like that, and it won't hurt her, so she won't nip out of pain. I bet you someone else comes there though, and even like acts the wrong way. I, you know, I, I, I'd like to think so, but I don't know. I think she'd bark. You know, I had a Chow Lab mix. Chows are known for being wicked too. 
the sweetest, sweetest dog. That's like on the worst dog on speed. Yeah, that's a dog that a rapper would have. Are you kidding me? Chows are freaking aggressive. And yeah, they are. They're known for being aggressive. Still. <laughs> yeah, but look, you're, diamond in the rough. you guys are saying the same thing that the pit bull owner is saying. <laughs> well, we're, all we're saying is that those dogs are known for being aggressive. It's just I agree with Blue Shirt. It's how you raise them, maybe, the environment that a, a they're cool in. A full-size chihuahua. If a chihuahua was the size of other dogs, everybody would be like, my God, stay the fuck away It'd be like, it's like a miniature Jack so Russell bad. who are nuts. Okay. Like, absolutely Here, here's nuts. Here's what I think. If you take a black, uh, like, a, I have a lab. He's gentle as hell with my kids. Why is he going to be black, Joe? Yeah, why is he going to be Let's call the gaff. Oh, Someone okay. get the gaff. You. Get the gaff on the phone. He's got a big penis, so he's black. What can I say? He's the so it's big, yeah. and you're, that's it's like black five inches. And say Are you saying bull. you're now into bestiality? And you have the same owner who raises those dogs and treats them like shit or secludes, whatever. I think that that pit bull is going to be way worse than the lab in terms of if it bites somebody or whatever. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're talking about a lot more. You're talking about a, a breed that's a lot more strong. That's like saying, you know, if you get bit by a fucking grizzly bear and try to compare it to, like, you know, a, a swamp rat, it's obviously going to be worse, man. If you have a, a pit bull and you're raising, like you said, with kids and you're treating yeah. it right, it's probably going to be as gentle as any other dog. But, I mean. I just hate the, I just hate the labeling, man. I, yeah. think it's, I think it's retarded. And, you know, I'm not. Oh, speaking of labels. Retard, that's a harsh word. <laughs> It's a, it's a term. So I got three I guess, more. I guess ignorant. Got ignorant three more stories one. before we start our quiz. Ignorant. Three more. Ignorant. Craigslist dog killer Jason Brown tortured, killed, and dismembered five dogs bought online. What kind of dogs? Terrible. It doesn't even oh, matter. I, I it kind of does. It so he, he gets worse. a hotel room in Nevada. <laughs> Say that again. Nevada. I guess. Probably the cheapest ones you could buy. That's great. Unfortunately, probably fits. Yeah. Or mutts. He took them to the Super 8 motel. A maid who entered the room found, when Brown was absent, found a dog's head in the bath and limbs oh. and bloods all o- limbs and bloods limbs and, and blood, blood all over the Band floor as well as drug paraphernalia. That's terrible. Police later found four more heads in the refrigerator. You know what I always say when I hear stories like this? Thank Horrible. You. The guy should go to prison. Thank the God it wasn't people. Hell. Thank God it wasn't people. The same thing. Thank God he's killing dogs and not people because people are. Thank not God they caught him. Well, yeah, that's like the beginning. Like, that's how a lot of, like, killers start. They start with animals, and then they go to Really? That doesn't make a difference to you? You don't think it's worse to have a a freezer full of people than dogs? It's a little worse. I mean, I... Little worse. Okay. Just say it. I've always been a person... No, since I was very young, I've always cared far more about animals than any human being I've ever come across. Sitting next to her mother. (laughs) Now, I've made this comment before. If if you're driving down the street... You're driving down the street, and for some reason, this. you're surrounded by, good. like, walls, like uh, in Grand Theft Auto. You're driving down the game, a tunnel. You're driving down Hollywood, a tunnel. Hollywood, just, you're going down a curvy street with walls. Dog runs out in front of you. Are you going to go through the dog, or sure. are you going to try to miss it and possibly hit the wall and hurt yourself? I'm, I'm going straight through that dog. <laughs> I'm going straight okay. through. Oh, with no. I'm not going to hit the wall and hurt myself over hitting that dog. Yeah, I happen. thought you were going to go the, you're driving down the tunnel, and there's a person on the left and the dog on the yeah, right. What are you going to hit? Oh, thing. no, I'm not going to purposely hit one of like, them. You one, but got to hit one of them. choice. Oh, the dog. That's the question. Yeah, yeah. the dog. And I know day. people who have answered the person. And Is I'm the like, person an old guy? Does it old? matter? Yeah. It's a human That's, being. Let's say they're old. It's someone's I always, grandfather. I would always pick a, uh, you know, the per- I'd always pick the person over the animal. You have to. But if there ain't nobody else, I would pick the wall over the animal. Definitely. But you're gonna but die. You no, well, no, you're you can't say die. that. Yes, you have that's the, what we'll say. You have the <laughs> a spiked wall. Well, let me tell you right now, if something stops in midtime. They're like, Keith, make a decision right now. Yeah, that's what we're talking. You either yeah, hit, this is the scenario. You either hit that or you die right now. See well, I'm gonna dog. fucking plow. I'll plow you over. See a dog. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, come on. Instinctively, though, if instinctively, I don't blame you for that. Hey, you have a kid. But but <laughs> you're orphaning my daughter. So <laughs> there you go. I'm just saying, if if, <laughs> if anybody, if any human being had two two paths, and like you'll die if you do this one, or you'll just smoke. Most this. people are gonna take Absolutely, choice living. Absolutely. If 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 you're like, okay, what what would I actually do? I would swerve. And I, I've you done try a, a bunch of times. I wouldn't swerve and hit a person over an animal. No, absolutely not. Mom's leaving. Everyone say bye. Count the Warden it was uh, the fun. is Thanks exiting the building. Us. Thanks for joining us. Uh, but until we come up with something better, that's just what we're going to call you. Because the fans, that's the fans show, know you the as the Warden. The say bye. And the next show, the Cougar. Will. The cougar. What? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, no, Cougar.
Ah, oh, cougar. We could call her the. We can call Captain her Captain Boucher. Get the trademark for that one. You call her Coog. Coog. Okay. Coog. That's it. Coog. All right, there we go. All right, bye, Coog. Every dollar the show makes someone ten cents. Every time it's said, <laughs> you get a portion of every date from this YouTube experiment. Whatever the tip is, you get ten percent. I think Home Depot is the best, though. That's bad. Yeah, I won't shoot down Home Depot. I mean, at Home Depot, they have all those Saturday and Good. Sunday Good classes. Luck. Home Depot and Lowe's. Go and say you're... Look, when you're trying to find dudes, go aim to low. Go, go to Lowe's. Go into the electrical area and start looking like you don't know what you're doing. And Look. you'll get... Somebody will come up and ask. You got to go to paint. got to go to paint. Whoever's hunting for a hot tub, that's the guy you want to go home with. Look for a guy with a little tent on his pants. Oh, the masturbatorium? Oh, masturbatorium. Might I suggest bringing an accommodator? <laughs> the oh, you masturbatorium. Here for that. Oh, my gosh. It's literally, like, it makes it legal for you to masturbate in public. Uh, you're it's a you're literally tent. pitching you tent. I think, I, think, I think you said this last time I was here, actually. Yeah, we were talking about it. It's like I'm a, a little it, fucked up. It's like a four-inch tent. Yeah, you were a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sh show buys the baby yeah. size. Yeah. So it's a pup tent for him. <laughs> Just fingers, <laughs> fingertips. It's like a. Just rolls the Aye. fingers. All right, so next one here. Man tried to serve pet dog for dinner. Jesus. Nice. Actually, the. He uh, was. Um, was he? This was the he guy was that you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was Mexican. Oh, I'm pretty sure. This is the guy you know a lot more about than me. Yeah. The whole deal was he took his dog in the backyard. Children were home. They knew what was going on the whole time. I, th I heard this. Murdered his dog. What he did is he... A screw, right? Yeah, he s hit it in the head with a screwdriver. Like, oh, he stabbed it in the heart with a screwdriver. Oh, stabbed it in the heart, and then he skinned him, put him in the freezer. Yeah. The wife found the dog in the freezer. Hispanic guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like... I thought he was Indian at first because he has like a thing right here. I didn't anyway. see it. That's pretty um, racist. So he tells his wife, she's like, you Ooh. need to get rid of it. A dot? He goes, yeah, the dog on in the freezer. Yeah, it was a dot in his head, yeah. Was it dot or feather uh, Indian? Yeah, a dot head. A dot. No, 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 like dot. dot. Was it? Um, oh, okay. No, it, yeah, it wasn't. It, yeah. Okay, so he told his wife, well, if you don't like it, then I'll take it over to my parents for a barbecue. I heard, I heard that same story. And apparently it's, it's not illegal. illegal. Yeah, it's legal to eat dogs. It's illegal the way he killed them. Yes. It wasn't kosher. Oh. And where was this at? New Mexico. New Mexico. I agree with that. You know, I don't. I don't. If you're gonna kill something to eat it, man, there's a no dog? need. Anything, man. We well, just talked about how much you love your pit. I would never eat a dog. I wouldn't eat my dog. But if although I my wife is from the Philippines, dog, so. Gosh, I don't know. she. I've might had, you know, I've had this discussion with several people, and honestly, honestly, tell me the difference between a dog and a cat and a cow. Tell me the difference. It all tastes like chicken. No, 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 no. I don't mean flavor. I don't mean flavor. Cow tastes like chicken. There's a problem. Whatever. Cows are so cute. Have you ever looked at a cow? That's what I'm cow? saying. Have you ever seen they the videos so of them? I know people who have. I know people who have had pet cows they're and pet adorable. and pet pigs. And, and we've talked about this before. They literally get their pet. throat slit while they're alive. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, people I always say, oh, someone beat a dog up and cut its head off and put it in the fridge. I'm with you on that. It's messed up. I'm just saying. You know how many cows and pigs get their heads cut off They're every also day? They're like mass bred and everything. Oh, so it's better it's if we do right. mass no, it's not mass okay killings than one. It's so not are dogs okay and cats. the way that they are raised and the way that they are treated, but they are a food source. Okay, so are dogs. What's okay, the difference? You go to another, in another country, maybe, just like if you go to some other country, cows are sacred. I'm with you. you I get them. it. That's what I'm saying. Pigs. I'm saying some here. Only pigs is What's the difference? Motherfuckers. Yeah, that's the um, pigs are delicious. Middle Eastern deal, right? They yeah. can't have Muslims. Pigs. And you know what's sick? Let's pig not get on that subject. Let's move on quickly. Pigs, pigs are smarter than any pet you've ever had in your life. I want a little baby pig. Pigs are so cute. Those little teacup I think, ones. I think we don't eat. So cute. I think we don't eat cats and dogs because of their intelligence. And I guess you know that's pigs where, are. Yeah, pigs, yes, pigs, pigs are way smarter. Thank you. But Make they sure taste so damn good. That's the problem. <laughs> Here's the problem for pigs. They're made of bacon. 
All right. That's but to not tell you the truth, to tell you, you're not going to win this war. Big thing society, they have against them. If society was ever depending on me back in the day to like pick a food source, I'd have looked at a cow and been like, fuck no. I'd have looked at stupid think, people and been like, we need to start eating those guys because we're going to have a problem in about 150 years. Um, until that Only if you fucking ruled the world back then. <laughs> <laughs> until it was discovered that actually eating. We'd be in Atlantis you, right now. Like sick, it does something to your body that's not. Well, good. because people aren't used to used to that anymore. I, I'm so curious. Wait, what did to find out say? Where the study was conducted. At. What did intern you know, say? Apparently, my intern. My what did you say? What? What are you talking about? I didn't hear you. Uh, eating people, eating people is bad does for you. Something to your body that can kill you. Well, like it's really any. Bad for you. From what I understand, any species that eats their own kind, it's bad for them. There's a lot of cannibal species in the animal kingdom. Actually. Doesn't mean it's good for them, though. Apparently. Oh, uh, I don't know enough to say yes or no. From what I understand, any animals who consume like either the brains and certain parts of yeah, their own species. Study. Yeah, Google yes, it. Yes. Yes. I know. F- I watched a National Geographic show. <laughs> National Geographic. Geo- 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 that's, right, that's what I'm talking about. National Tartographic. No, it was like because monkeys, they do like we do. They have wars and they take prisoners and you know they rip each other apart. They rip and each other's. They've studied testicles that, off. Oh yeah, they're yeah. brutal. Oh my god. That's the what monkeys, I love about the vegetarians. Uh, meat is murder. Everyone in the jungle is so peaceful. We're the only species that kills animals. Shut up. Right. Monkeys and dolphins are the only other creatures that have sex for fun. False. False. That's, that's Just true. read on I fucking love science. Anybody Apes do like it that? too. Oh, that's, that's a great Facebook. website. Oh, man. You got dolphins. You got penguins. You got turtles. Penguins do it. Penguins, yeah, penguins rape. Penguins. Have you seen a video of turtles doing it? Because it's probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. I don't know, but there was this dolphin fucking a dead fish. Yeah, no, no, no. On the town on it. <laughs> I read this. <laughs> Look, I read this. I was excited. He's got yeah. his iPad out. Like, I can kind of <laughs> see. I can kind of see a little boner down there right now. <laughs> I read this article. It's it's unbelievable. Like dolphins and otters are, t- and I've been saying this since day one. I hate dolphins. Here, you take the mic. Let me let me finish this before you get into that. Dolphins and otters are two of like the most effed up, rotten bastard animals on the planet Earth. Otters have been witnessed raping other otters and other species to the point they like rape them so hard they hold their head underwater, and sometimes they die and drown. And they still rape them for like hours. These are otters. Oh, look, you're so cute. They're swimming and they're building a little <laughs> thing with their tail. Yes, because they're building their own little rape dungeon to take <laughs> poor little sea turtles back to. And, side note, otters are cute. I love otters. They're great. But I, it's it's just this this fantasy that people have, like the animal kingdom is just this Hakuna Matata Disney movie where every, everyone's just walking around, having a good time, and eating plants. Hakuna Matata. You're on show. I, base it, I pass it to you, show. There's actually something. It's called K-U-R-U. Cure you, cure whatever. Cure syndrome. Cure disease. Cure is an incurable degenerative neurological disorder endemic to tribal regions of Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. They're known for cannibalism. It's a type of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy caused by a prion, whatever the hell that is, found in humans. So if it can give you a disease. Yeah, if you it's eat not good for you. Flesh. It's just like drinking your own urine. That's actually not true. You can drink your own pee as long as you don't have an STD. Ugh. Human no. human urine is Which actually is something we're going to talk about next. Sure, you can show. probably back me up on this. Human urine, unless you have an infection or something, is sterile. What I was saying well, earlier. I'm not, I'm saying unless you have an infection or something's yeah. wrong with you, it's it's yeah. sterile. Well, you are getting rid of all the toxins. Yeah, there's bad stuff in it, but you can filter it. Like if you're dying and you need water, you can filter it through a piece of bread or sand and stuff like that, and you'll be okay. Yeah. Look, I was a Boy Scout. I took wilderness survival. All right, I, to I got my patch. At least I was too hot. What urine? I gotta add. A, <laughs> I gotta add a little gin to it or something. I can't uh. just. <laughs> Uh, what I was going to say earlier, we're more on the subject. Uh, blue shirt's is going on his six pack now. Um, my dad informed me that when he was in USMC wow. training, well, you know, they actually a supplied him Corps. with a book that told him how to cook human. Really? I mean, sometimes like you got guy. to. You, sometimes it was you have to. a survival guide. When my, we're my talking about eating, training, eating people. He, he um, looked it up, and it is bad for you. You can call him cause neurological yeah, disorders yeah. Like incurable like the, what is it, the or yeah. it's like mad cow disease it's same thing but look if we were in a you know remote island and i'm eating you i'm gonna eat you bro i'm sorry i mean <laughs> although you guys would all probably soccer fucking team. eat me first I'd see yeah hey we gotta team up on show because yeah. guess what yeah. we're not eating for a while after yeah. that we're good <laughs> i know i know 
There it's was okay. one, there's actual story. Sure, I just want you to know, I thank you for getting us all back home alive. Yeah. They yeah. crashed in the Arctic, and every people were dying, and they had no food. Yeah, it's the soccer there, team in the airplane. It's called Alive. Yeah. Good so movie. They started, eat, it was a movie. I read it, like, when I was yeah. in school. It yeah, it's, like a, a it's like a story. soccer team from the, yeah, the, yeah, the was like oh, a, in the Andes like Mountains. Has ever noticed that, like, all the books you read in school were fucking depressing? Yeah, they're all oh, yeah. Oh, for Hatchet. Sure. Yeah. Remember yeah. Hatchet? Oh, I remember Hatchet. Hatchet. Oh. Of Mice Hatchet? and Men, bro? Indian in the Cupboard. A Mice and Men. Yeah, uh, I mean, all the Tender all Rabbits. Really I'll like break like their damn necks, George. Did you guys ever have to read A Brave New World? I oh, Atlas Huxley. Yeah, yeah, great. Fantastic. Disturbing. Very disturbing. Yeah. It's like, reminds me a lot of 1985, yeah, like the future world, fucked up this. society. Life's going to shit on you, okay? Yeah. Get ready for it. Yeah, yeah. pretty they much. Knew. They knew. They knew. Just so it doesn't impact you as hard. Yeah. And then, then we all read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and we're like, you know what? It's going to be all right. I, I think we're going to make it. I books, like A Summer of My German Soldier and How to Kill a Mockingbird. How? <laughs> how to Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> like, it's a self-help guide. <laughs> <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird. Oh. All right, so last story before we start that our quiz. Awesome. <laughs> Two girls investigated for torturing <laughs> rare tortoise. Oh, this is a great story. Not, not because of what happened, but because they're going to catch these bitches. No, they already did. Did they? they? they Good. Sex Good. She's 18 years old, fucked a 16 year old. Yeah, after uh, it was posted online that they showed them lighting a threatened gopher tortoise on fire and then stomping it to death. Oh, yeah, I've seen something about that. It was in, uh, I believe, Nev- well, it was in Florida. I don't know why I just said Nevada. But a second video shows one of the girls stomping on the animal until its shell breaks and it's dead. The first one had them uh, dousing him with a flammable fluid and then laughing as a creature tries to get away from the flames. That's pretty messed that's up. That's pretty sick. That absolutely. is pretty sick. Absolutely. That, that's the start of the cannibalism and the murdering people at an early age. I think, I think psycholog- or, uh, psychiatrists, don't they link that to, to being like a, a psychopath? Yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah, what we were saying before with the, uh, the dog killer. So hurt the animals and then you work your way up. I, I just think anybody that, that will will fucking hurt something other than like an insect for no fucking reason is just a sick bitch anyways. Well, we I'm with you. You know what? I don't care about bugs, but sometimes when I kill a bug, I feel bad. Like most of the time if there's a bug or a spider in my house, I'll yeah, go out of my way. Spiders, I'm not a fan <laughs> of spiders I'm frightened of spiders. Here's why, spiders I, suck. here's why I let spiders go. They eat so many bugs. Yeah, They're awesome. Yeah. I'll, tr- I'll go out of my way to get a cup. And a thing, it slide on the cup and put it outside. Bites your nut sack. Well, you eat like eight spiders in your life yeah, while you're sleeping. Yeah. Right? The, the, the spiders don't worry about. Yeah, a little spider bite, bite they'll swell it up, make your balls look bigger. Mm-hmm. Get a picture I, uh, of it. The, the one thing we have here what is you we say? <laughs> makes it look bigger. We have and a lot of get a picture. Spiders. <laughs> we <laughs> we have a lot of geckos. Yeah, which dude. is which is cool because we've just they noticed the spiders. That. Hey, we, we got a what? ton of geckos. It's well, like we, we have a family. You know why? In my bathroom, and we can see the the, the lizards. They all come out. No, no not lizards. lizards. We geckos. have actual well, geckos, geckos like the pink ones. Yeah, them. yeah. So that's why. Because I've been noticing there's been a lot of brown widows by my house. Like we have an infestation of them, and you go outside. That must be why they're showing up. I didn't know they ate. They ate little. Yeah, brown widows. They're like black widows, but they're brown and they're not. They're not. They're, they're not, not as deadly. deadly to humans, but they they can kill your the pets. The brown recluse are the bad ones. Oh yeah, they eat away your skin. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I thought that's what I had on my. I have less scars well, on my hands. Oh, you know it. I'm yeah, it's just that's herpes. Um, so that's ready to do herpes? <laughs> ready? Yeah, I didn't say that. Ready to do this uh, quiz? Oh, Lord. I am. I'm ready. Do you want to score keep and be the I judge? Was, I was born ready. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. Uh, Are you not a wrestling guy? I, have I, I wrote points. your name in there just in case. So we do, we do have two quizzes. Hey, if you think you know it, shout it out. So uh, we d- I will. I will go ahead and say I will probably score zero start. and I will lose, but that's okay. Confidence. You're, you're Confidence. Game hey, just to get it. Okay. But the rules are: if if she starts the question, none of y'all have seen the. The quiz already? None of us have seen the quiz. No. If, you, if you say your name right then and there, she no, stops. No, we, we, we don't have to say the name. We actually, we, what we did last time is we actually just did it to where we could just shout out the answer. Just yeah. shout out the answer, whatever. It's just so much easier that way. But then if, if say, you cut her off. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If, he, if, if he's right. Yeah, if you know it, go for it. If you're wrong, she gets to finish the question and you can't talk yeah, about if it. They, yeah, if they want. Right. If not, the that's next was, person who yells. Now, that's let's what I was say, getting to. Let's say I yell it wrong. McBride yells it wrong. Then, I mean, show's got... Five, five seconds to just right. basically figure out the or, answer. Or four seconds. Four okay. seconds is probably better. <laughs> hey, well, that's good. 
Uh, see, you won't let it go, so we can't Fantastic. let it go. All right, are y'all ready? I let it go. Yes, we're ready. All right, so what is the name of this quiz? This is going to be um, wrestlers by their nicknames. Oh, all right, Christ. it's gonna be good. All right, it's gonna be good. Um, Whenever you're ready. First one, we have sexual chocolate. Mark Henry. God damn it. What the fuck, man? Yeah, he's sexual okay. chocolate Mark Henry. Are you kidding me? You're going to be too, gonna be too fast with the newer ones. Sexual cha, and you had it. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard sexual. If it was sexual cock, would inst- you have gotten it right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. The next one is going to be the Ayatollah of rock and roll. Oh, what the? Uh, oh, that's. Uh, uh, I can give you hints. He has a couple. Yeah, Hold keep on. going. Hold on. The man of a thousand and four holds. Oh, Chris Benoit. No, God damn it! Oh, Benoit's not right. That's okay. not what uh, I meant. Else? Um, Lionheart. Lionheart? Oh, Jericho. Duh! Jericho. I totally meant to say Jericho. <laughs> Lionheart. Yeah, Jericho-holic ninjas. Ayatollah. Oh, okay. The Ayatollah of rock and roll. Break down the walls. God. All right. Um, oh, wow. That's a free oh, one, one, Chris. I mean, Joyce. <laughs> or Lee <laughs> Goat. The Goat, whatever. Um, Man. The goat boy. The I next. Can't find Lisa. I just wrote down, you know, That's him. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 or, 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 or goat boy is good. All right. So the next one is the voice of ECW. Paul ha- Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. No. Voice of ECW. Why Paul would that be oh, Paul Heyman? Joey Styles. God yes. damn it. What? Announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck it. Okay, I already said I'm gonna score zero, and I'm. God, I'm you're gonna right. kill me on this. This the is all new stuff. The of desire. Val Venus. I I don't know. Dude, that, is there anything else? Doctor of desire. I, I don't I don't I don't know. Done. Uh, I said I don't know. Tom Pritchard. Who the hell? What? I don't even uh, know who Tom Pritchard all is. Right. Um, good old Jr. Jim Ross. J- yep. Thank you. J- Thank you very much. <laughs> that would have been show's only yeah. correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> um, the King of the Mountain. Ric Flair. No. What? King of the Mountain. Uh, Space Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Take the ladies. Woo! Ride it all night J. long. Jeff Jarrett. Yep. What a dick. Oh, I was getting ready to say Jeff Jarrett. Yes. Yes. Well, you weren't too busy holding your hands out, letting the world know you knew it, and said it, you'd have had it. All right, next one is the loose cannon. Brian Pillman. Brian, flying Brian. Yep. <laughs> yeah, actually, 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 hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, the, another name would be Show's Ass. Why is it? Oh, loose. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> I would have always asked. Shows, asked, shows, asked actually shows colon. The Loose Canyon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Get it all out this while is, you can. Everyone needs to have their focus. This all right. Is a focus, really power, good concentration. One. The dirtiest player in the game. I know really? that. Seriously? It's Ric Flair, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. That's, <laughs> that's a, come on, guys. <laughs> everyone does that. Ric Flair, dirtiest player in the game. I just didn't want to say it because it was so obvious. Know? That was a trick question. Seriously? <laughs> These so guys know wrestling. I don't. He knew that. He gave it to me. Next one. Sounds like a guy that always sneaks the shocker in. Yeah, All right. that's it. The dirty, the dirty deed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go from the most unfamiliar, the one, Mr. Ass. Never heard that one. Christian? Oh, that's uh, no. Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn. That's right. Yeah. Mr. Ass. Bad I'm an ass, ass man. Gun. That's Billy Gunn. He, have you seen him? He's so pitiful. Yeah, he did. Yeah. It was Billy Gunn? Why has he been wrestling anymore? Uh, he hasn't wrestled in a while. Who are you talking really? about? Really? At, Wrestle- at WrestleMania, he, he they got their ass beat so bad he was coughing up blood by the end. He hasn't been out since. <laughs> Billy Gunn, remember at WrestleMania? Yeah, he's, I can't stand him. Yeah, I was just yeah. making sure we're all on the Hates same page. Hates him. I love how you left the plus one. Yeah, she always gets one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, was her one point the... Um, the next question is, why does plus one not know anything? And she goes, because I suck. Yeah, that was her one. <laughs> that was her bonus point. <laughs> yeah, she got And I'm like, give her five points for that one. She's still lost. What's All the right. score? No, no, we don't need to know the score. I'm losing. The score is we got Liege in the lead with five. Oh, yeah. Who is that? I, I, well, you know, you told me to write that down, but Faggot was up there first. Oh. Sweet. All right, I'm glad I'm winning. <laughs> McBride trailing with two. 
And show coming in last with one. Coming up from the rear. Yeah. Go ahead. Go. All right. So this next one. It's a big one. one, though. We all ready? Born and raised. Sensational. Sherry. Shit. Sensational Damn Sherry. It. I know her. I'm like two letters behind. He's just my sexy boy. They're yeah. yeah. The bad guy. Oh, Raise one up. Alone. Oh! Also, except Scott Hall. <laughs> The Russian bear. Col uh, Ivan Cola? No. It's Ivan, Ivan Cola. something. It wow, show got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it out yep. first. I was going to say Boris something. I don't yeah, know. I was uh, going Russian. One to tie it up. You heard the that. The cat? The what? I'm oh, sorry. The cat. Ernie Ladd. Close. No. I, I think he was, but. Uh, Is there anything else? Male or female? Can I ask that? Because there was a male and female male. cat. Male? Ernest Miller. Ernest the Cat Miller. I thought you said the catch. The cat. The cat. Oh, I. I think Ernie Ladd was though. Uh, I, I heard catch. Have a point. Why? It was or Ernest one Miller. One of a point. So, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so next one. <laughs> Chub. Um, Mr. Wonderful. Paul Orndorff. <laughs> yep. God damn. You God. knew that? Yes, but I'm, hey, I'm like too fast. four seconds behind you. Too fast, right, too right, furious. Right, right. <laughs> the masterpiece. I know that son of a bitch. He's the masterpiece. Um, the masterpiece. Mr. Perfect? Uh, no, no. The masterpiece. I don't know. That's that's a new like one for me. He turns into like one of the sand people off his Star Wars and he gets excited. <laughs> I know who you're talking I, about. I don't know who it is. They're so cute. I don't know who it is. No, those are the Jawas. Those ding, ding. Oh. ding. I think we should wait on this one. I'm gonna, I'm no, you can't this. wait. It, it, you it's, it's, I need a point. Okay, five. The master. Four, yeah, it's something three, master center. Two. Yeah, done, Chris Masters. Chris Masters. Oh, that's stupid. That's the big it's all it's it's almost like it was given to us the like last was, week. Yeah. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. The masterpiece. <laughs> um The Beast from the East. Bam Bam Bigelow. Yep. Boom Shakalaka. We're tied right it's now. It's a tie game. Uh the human suplex machine. Taz. J yeah. Joyce. Yeah, Taz. Taz, you got it. Oh. Or leash. Polish or pow I'm sorry, pol. That, that does not look like it's spawned right. Polish, Polish power. power. Oh, oh, Putsky. Putsky. Ivan Putsky. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll just take Come Putsky. On. I mean, yeah, Putsky. because the sun yeah. went yeah. off the same thing. Hey, all right, fine. Hey, hey, listen to the show. Hey, we'll show, show. Show got it. Out of it. So How many do we have left by chance? Yeah, we already got ten. A lot. Okay, okay. well, let, let's let's go to the next next seven because we still got another quiz. Okay. Okay. Seven more. Um. So. American Dragon. Oh, American Ricky Dragon? Steamboat. No. What? No, he was just he, he was, was just the dragon. Oh, the dragon. American. Oh, whoa! This I did not know this. American one. Dragon. American Dragon. Yes. That's stupid. Yes. That's stupid. You yes. can't call yourself the American Dragon oh, when yes. Ricky the wow. Dragon Steamboat is yes. a real thing. I, I don't know who this is. I don't know it. Two. You guys are so oh. yes. Yeah, how many times? Can oh, you say Daniel yes? Bryan, Daniel but Bryan? it's past yeah. the point. I didn't Bryan get it. So. That's cheating. He oh, whatever. that's cheating. Daniel he Bryan. sucks. I don't like him. In oh, his stupid him. beard. He's a terrible. Whatever. Continue. <laughs> um, Six more left. The excellence of execution. Mr. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it is Jesus Christ! I said Mr. Perfect. Joyce. Someone punch me. <laughs> Bret Hart. I said Mr. Perfect, That's the like excellence of execution. Everything. I'm going to skip through some of these. So stupid. We so we got five uh, more left, five more. What's the score by chance with five left? You're up. Okay, I think by Leach two. Is in the lead right now with eight. Twice showed Ride good. trailing in the, in the rear with six. Oh, Whatever. Man. And show showing up with three. Right, one more, one. show. Right. Ready for this next one? At least I didn't one? get shut out. <laughs> next one. Ready. ready? Ready. The Phenom. The Phenom. That's the Undertaker. <laughs> the Phenom. That's it. You're lucky. <laughs> okay, it's P-H-E-N-O-M. That's the Phenom. Phenom. I like the I'm smarter than it. It's the, it's the hey, Carmen it. moment of the night. <laughs> Le leave it to. I'm going to say that's the only reason I got that one from you. Leave, but it, hey, leave it to I the intern it. to not pronounce the one that the we know Phenom. he would get in a millisecond. Okay, I, I no, thought she said Venom. Mean? I'm like the Venom. I was oh, thinking. No, I was thinking Randy Orton right away. Yeah. Like I was like, 
Because they call him, what, the the Viper. Yeah, I know, but, I mean. Phenom. Okay, P-H-E-N-O-M. It's Phenom, Phenom, like phenomenal. Root word, Phenom. Phenom, Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenom, it's phenomenal. Phenom. H-E-N. Phenomenal. Phenom. Something like a phenomenon. phenomenon. Something All right, next like one. Phenomenon. So we got, what, four left? So Up by one. The first lady of wrestling. First lady of wrestling? May. May, May Young. May West. Young. No. Young West. No, what? it wasn't her? No. Oh! Fabulous Moolah. God no. damn it. Nope. Uh, oh, son of a bitch. Well, it's the done. first. Yeah, we all, yeah, we all lost. Miss Elizabeth. Duh! Oh, wow. Jeez. I am going to go home and punch myself so many times tonight. Macho's my favorite wrestler of all time. He's going to punch himself. How yeah. How about the Texas Vigorously. Tornado? Oh, that's... Um, Wyndham? No, 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 no. Carrie Von Erich. Yes. Thank you. God. What do we have left? Is it two left or is it three? This is it. He could be the wedge. It's two left? Okay, two if, left. If we go to a tiebreaker... Hold on, hold on. If we go to a tiebreaker, she's got to Google something that has nothing to do with nicknames, but okay. it, it will pertain right. to wrestling. Okay. I would, right, I would say, that. shall I sit out, but if I get one, then the oh, next yeah, one. Oh, yeah, depending on you're, you you're, you're, you're a wedge. All right. The billion dollar princess. Stephanie McMahon. Oh, you so. Oh. I so was going to say. I almost said million dollar <laughs> yeah. man. Out of nowhere, I just heard billion. I was. Hey, no big deal. But you gotta get the next one. Too. I know, I know. I gotta get the next one. Man, loser touches the electric right, tennis. Well, actually, I get to choose who touches yeah, the electric tennis racket. I'm born and raised. Ready, prepared. ready, ready. On your feet. Ready. Your toes. Ready. The eighth wonder of the world. China. 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 Show. Yeah. And the winner is. Oh wait, I just jacked you out of that. Did you did show? I'm gonna remember what that. What did they call China? Wasn't it something similar? She was the. Like the ninth wonder. Or Vienna something like sausage clitoris, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was pretty gross. Oh, it was really God. gross. Go- Go- Google Go- it, it if you're bored. All. Liege with nine. McBride. Trailing with eight. Show bringing up a happy four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four. Couldn't have right. planned that so any better. How about, how about we go to the next quiz before Good job. I choose who. Good job, Jason. Before I. Uh, Choose who uh, gets shocked. I got four. Maybe we can double it up. <laughs> you really did get Standard four. procedure. Oh, showed up. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Are these both nicknames? Uh, Shouldn't I be. I said they were going to whoop my ass. These guys. Yeah, I'm hopping you know. in this one because this isn't wrestling. No, it is wrestling. Fuck. It is. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. I'm a score. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next quiz. Okay. Hey, Admit it, you were scared. You got scared for a second. That's why I, when I heard billion dollar, I, I almost Honestly. yelled out million dollar man. Fuck. So are we added the scores on top? Uh, it would have been better if I could have gotten that question. Yeah, just a new one. Just a new one. Go double or nothing here. All right. Go big so or go home. Double or nothing? That's what, that's what you're wagering? Well, no. I'm just, you know, I mean, I, I already get to choose someone who gets shocked. So, I mean. If, if it's double or nothing, you don't, though. Unless no. he loses. If he loses, he gets two. Or nothing. You're, You're, two two shocks. Shocks. You're actually getting double the repercussions. Uh, I don't want to do that. Wanna that doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, I'll yeah, we'll just do a brand new game. I want to play. I'd like to go to sleep win. at some point tonight. We, we, um, we. This one is name the slang terms used in pro wrestling. Oh, slang gonna, terms. Okay, this is, this is fair. Like Venom? Like Venom. Venom! <laughs> <laughs> Any logical person who read that would have said the same thing. I probably would have said Phenom, being that you know it's the Undertaker. I mean, I've never heard that. Being that before, English is so my primary language. Being is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phenom's not a word. It must have been it's something pronounced phenom, different. Phenom is that a word? <laughs> no, yeah, but phenom. It means something in wrestling oh. terms. I wouldn't okay, have said. Okay, and phenom. I never heard that before. Oh, okay, continuing on. Okay. All right. So first question: how, how many? How many are in this? Is it a lot? Starting anew. No. Get okay, so we can get through the whole thing. Sweet. Okay, so the hint is a storyline. What is the, the what is that slang a gimmick. term for? No. A feud? Yes. A storyline in this wrestling is, is a yeah, feud. This is gonna be hard. So, uh, that was me with one. Leash. Yeah. This guy. Give it, to, give, it to the, give it to the this goat. Guy. So a. The f- oh, new name, Shell. He's right, the guys, fat focus, goat. Focus, come on, focus. This is what <laughs> we do today. All right, Joyce focus. Two year old. Focus, focus, focus power, concentration. Focus. All right, good guy. Heel. No. God damn it. Oh, good guy. I literally said the opposite. Face. God damn it. Oh, I right? I just sat here and watched them talk. Is it face? 
Halfly. I don't know if you should get a point for that. Yeah, it's face. It on his answer. It's face. Well, they say they have baby face. It's face. Oh, it's a, well, it's it's a face. face. It's a face. And I could I not have said anything we'll more him, opposite. We'll give him face. Yeah, that's two for me. Yeah, baby I'm, face. I too. said heel. I mean, that's probably an answer. I literally answered that bad guy. <laughs> Although right, this so could, well, that's probably another question. So. Yeah. All right, guys. <coughs> Championship. Main event. No. I mean, what? I don't understand this question. Main, yeah, I, I would have said the same thing. I, what I don't know. What do you know. call, what are the championships? What? Uh, Belt? Titles? What do you Title? Oh, that this is. Oh, thank I, God I mean, he much. he never sure answered. So I mean, yeah, he got it. Sure, he, he got it. Thank God, I'm not going to be Your a zero belts. on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get four. I, I was, I was like pay for you for some reason. All right, so show got that one. Well, when you said championships, it's like then I'm thinking multiple titles. Eh. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Making oneself bleed. Gib. Jip. What's that? Oh called? wait, what'd you say? Gib. Gib? No. Yeah, it's like gimping, gipping. What? Oh, I can't remember how you pronounce it. You know I'm close. Making self. Making oneself bleed. He was close. Jib. I just said it wrong. That's blade. He just said it was wrong. Um, Joyce, you are correct. It's blading, jigging, and juicing. Jig is what I was juicing. thinking. You said jib. juicing. I never heard that. No, I said jibbing. Oh, okay. Gib. What right. I said gib. Guy in charge of storylines. Is the. Uh, there's. Uh, yeah. This could go either way. Promoter. No. no. I'll go writer. No. Then you have to know what it is. I was between two. Half the Harlem Heat, Chief. Five. I don't know. I, I know it's half word. the Harlem Heat. I think I know the word. Two. Booker? It is a booker. Booker. I got it. Oh, you got it. You got okay. it. Right. Did he? Yeah. All right. As I gave him the answer. Well. All right, guys. A failed move. God, there's so many words. A failed what? A failed what is move? It when you when something is like when something's fucked up. You go it's to do something, but it didn't work out. It was. I'm gonna say botched. Yes. All right. There's a couple terms for that though in wrestling. Yeah. Non televised match. Oh. Dark. Yeah. I've been to a few of those. Dark match. Dark? Yeah. Also known as a Harlem Heat match. No idea what <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So a blackout in real WWE's term for female wrestlers. Diva. Oh, I'm going to give it to show. Oh, show got it. Wrestlers bodyguard. Manager. No. Bodyguard. Vince. <laughs> um, Virgil. Virgil. <laughs> um, muscle. No. Valet. No. Lumberjack. We're all wrong. Would you like to try again? No. No. What was it? The enforcer. Enforcer. Really? My next one. What the fuck? Can you just call him a bodyguard? Well, that would be an original. Enforcer. Um, Intimidating. The move a wrestler usually uses. Finisher. Yeah. Thank you. (laughs) McBride came early. (laughs) Yeah. What else is new? As for our previous text messaging, uh, Uh, I finished early too. An illegal object. Foreign object. McBride. God damn it, what? Steroids. Juice. Oh. That's that's on that's on I you. Know, I feel like I heard his voice first, but McBride's was Come on, I'm going to lose so anyways. I'm going to give it to show. It's All fucked right, up. Yeah. Oh. It great show. That that might give us Yeah, it's going to be a wedge right there. What's what's the score right now? We're uh, McBride and Leisure tied up at four. Ooh. Show Weird. is slightly behind with three. Wow. wow. way more competitive. Right, how many how many more do we have left real quick? By chance. More than five? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like 15 left. Okay, that's perfect. There's a, f- there's a phenomenal yeah, amount. Yeah, we'll go through real quick, all right? Left. You should get this. <laughs> so should you, but be quick. <laughs> Wrestlers, personality, and or... Gimmick. Distingu- Thank you. Suck it. And the bride takes the lead. Yeah, bride <laughs> takes Using the lead. weapons in a match... Extreme wrestling. Hardcore. Hard. Joyce. Extreme just oh, threw it out weird. there. Yeah. Ties it up. That was a weird question. So, booing from fans. Jeer. No. Fans? You're gonna I be, know this. You're going to be taking some. I know this. I know it. Heat. heat. Yep, it's heat. Son I knew it. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You ready? No one's going to know this one. What is a villain? Heel. Heel. 
<laughs> yeah! Redemption! <laughs> Sweet <laughs> redemption! <laughs> I should have just said face, just to, like... <laughs> <laughs> Go full heel. circle. A heel. A heel. Yeah, heels bad. Villains are heels. Villain. Face is good. Heels bad. Ric Flair, the heel of all heels. All right, taking a loss. Jobbing. Yes. All right. That was I mean, it, it actually is yeah. getting like whooped. Yeah. Would be jobbing. Whooped or jobber. Right. These just keep taking a step in front of you every time. I, I actually, I didn't know they had a word for this. He's getting these obscure ones. The illusion that pro wrestling is real. Also, the upkeep of that illusion. This is called oh. the suspension of disbelief. No. It's I'm sorry. Word. That's what it's called. It's one word. No, I know what it is. Okay. Kayfabe. Kayfabe. Yes. Kayfabe. Oh, <laughs> Lord, help us. Sorry. I'm sorry I got show, that. Shows, shows Kayfabe in that it's above four. Yep. A oh, fixed event could apply to Screw wrestling job. as a whole. Say it again. Script. A fixed <laughs> event could apply to wrestling as a whole. A word? I know what it is. Yes. I know what it is. Yep. Joyce. God damn it, Joyce. Leash. Uh, God. Mexican style of wrestling. Luchador. Lucha Libre. Same thing. You said That's the wrong thing. God damn it. Lucha Libre. Who was it? <laughs> yeah. Sure got it. Give me a break. Here's my four, bitches. <laughs> Joyce didn't say it because he was going to give it to me. Insider term for fans. For what? Fans? Yeah, insider for fans. term for fans. Like, wow, you're such a big... Homo? <laughs> <laughs> Homo is incorrect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that to the show. I want to go Mark. Yes. God Shit. damn it. You're yeah. a Mark. We, we do nothing but call this people Mark. Yeah. I would they fucking do. win. But I okay. If this was multiple choice, you'd win. For me. Okay, so bizarre... Oh Bizarre or mysterious Gold wrestlers dust. usually <laughs> hail from here. Parts <laughs> unknown. I, that's me. Get out of here, show. Right all the way. <laughs> gold dust. <laughs> yeah, that was a good answer. He did say gold dust. Sorry. Gold dust. <laughs> I said gold dust. I'll put it this way: you're tied up for your last score. Oh, it's four. stardust. Stardust. Oh lord. They have like a gay thing going on now, where they're all like gold in each dust. Space oh. Areas. Um, cheering from fans. Uh, putting over, putting putting him over. No. <laughs> putting over. That I mean, you're putting somebody over and cheering. God, I really love soda. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Getting, getting, a, to getting the a cheap. That's got cheap. Nine and getting I got a cheap. Four? That's cheap. That's cheap. Getting a cheap pop. <laughs> As Kfab pop right there. <laughs> that was real. I earned that Kfab right, so stuff. So a real life double crossing. Screw job. Yes. Yeah. It's second time around. All right, all right. <laughs> you sweating over there yet? No, I'm good. Japanese, I actually I don't know. Japanese pro wrestling. I'd like to see you know this one. Hold on. Japanese pro wrestling? Yeah. Is it like Okay, can I ask a question? Yeah, it, no, is no, it the no, Is it the name of a promotion? I don't know. No. But I'm going to answer No, it's what it's called. Hmm. The one question I could fucking answer. You know this? You know how to pronounce oh, it? Oh, you've been there, right? Japan? I think you were stationed I think there, right? I know, no. but oh. I, I know the word, but it's just. There's a white people way to see it, say it too. Bukaki. Wow. I okay. Five, sumo. Four. That's what I was gonna say. So I'm glad no. you said no. No, it's no. it's pro like wrestling. yeah, it's pro wrestling. It's like WWF mm -hmm. of Japan. It's um, strong well, style start with. wrestling, and then it's called uh, Purosu. Purosu. P U R O R E S U. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that one. No, I didn't know that. I'm glad I didn't say <laughs> I knew that. Because if everybody said yeah. wrestling in Japan, I would, everybody would always say sumo. Yeah. But we're talking pro wrestling, like. Yeah, it's not like. Like Great Muda. Wrestling kind, not, you know. Great Muda we with the really mist. We call that pro wrestling. We call it act wrestling. I call it sports entertainment. Oh, my God. You just. Sports entertainment! <laughs> That was the answer to the next question. I win! I, I win! I didn't even get to say it. <laughs> That's true. I said the answer. <laughs> I called BS I didn't even on that one. I open my mouth. That doesn't count. Yes, you did. I Go ahead. Vince Go ahead. Say it. He'll read, get it. It. read it. Read it. Read it. Sports entertainment! All right. Next question. Um, 10 and 10. Tied up. He did. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How many's left? How many's left? Don't give him that point. How many's left? Four. 
Four more left. We're tied. Ten, ten, oh. and Give him that point. four. There's four left. I even the show it. has a chance. We're going to tie it up just for the, the, uh, the right, So it's ten and ten. Let's do this. For the Drama. Yeah. We're going to K-Fab it. Because if he gets it, if, if he wins this round, McBride. we're going to go to a sudden death. I'm wedging this one. Okay, all right. So we have a brief match where one wrestler dominates the other. Squash. Joyce. Squash. Should we say some type of vegetable? <laughs> a vegetable? This. A, a, lot. a down group or of allied wrestlers. A no. You say click, but that's not it. The no. click, yeah. That would be um, one of them. I'm going to go with, you said. A group. Stable? Yes. That's a good answer. That's it. Oh. Stable. Stable or factual. Man. What's the score? You can no longer have that was in the back of my mind. Would you like me to put the mic down for the next one? That was or the or what, what, what is it? No. Stable. It's oh. stable. 12 to 10. McBride has to get the next two answers. Oh. All right. So, Joyce, shut so the fuck up. This answer, it's, if you, if you <coughs> it's two on one. What if I spell the next one? If no have them be involved with right, Macho right, Man. Are you ready? Real difficult one. A structure sometimes erected around a Cage. ring. What if it was hell in a cell? Can we, uh, it, hell nope. in a it's cell still a cage. It's a structure. Steel cage oh, it would, uh, it's a cage match. Hell in a cell is a cage match. All right, so what is, the last question, what is a female accompaniment? Valet. Yes. That's a terrible yeah. question to end that with. Oh, it's a terrible question. Oh, terrible question. Jesus Christ. It's valid. Let's, let's, let's try Go to get another question. Who would win. The one All right, no, we'll even do one more if you thought that was unfair. You ready? All right. Well, he going die. from a... No, 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 no points. Keep it. <laughs> going from a good guy to a villain or vice versa. Oh, when Hogan... I'm... Um... He turned. Switch like a hitter. zombie. It's a turn. That's it. It's a turn. turn. You got it. You killed me. You killed me. I loved it. All right, so da, 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 da. McBride trailing in second and show tying himself up. Oh, he got four again? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, four is the magic There's number. There's a pattern there. Right, right. So, well, I guess everyone might as well. Well, not everyone, but I guess uh, McBride. Oh, I thought you were going to get me there. Uh, I could have. <laughs> could have. <laughs> So I guess Show and McBride each get to touch this. We each get one? Is that what's happening? Yeah, just one. Just right, one for each love. I'll do it. Um, I'll do it. Come McBride on, McBride first. What do you mean, come on? Oh, man, that sucked. It didn't <laughs> <even> <laughs> noise. I didn't even hear it. Oh, I can smell <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You can't hit it like that. Just put the tip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the other one wasn't a snap. It just burned. Right, Show. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. Come on. Ah. No, that was a bad. Give me another one. Come on. <laughs> just, just. Oh, shit. Now that <laughs> fucking hurt, man. Uh, How imagine being a little really bug. Smell it. It's, it's got to be the worst. I actually, yeah. I, oh, yeah, that was my sick. thumb. The first one that didn't make noise. It was bad. <laughs> that first one was nothing. The second one was like, God. I'm just amazed. Oh, it's like, it smells like <laughs> shitty barbecue. <laughs> it was like four. <laughs> all the way. At best. Straight across the so, all right, so to to that's, <laughs> Let's do it. that's soft. That's all soft, for the show. Soft four. <laughs> 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 no, it's a hard four. <laughs> so we're. Uh, so the idea is uh, for another show in a couple nights. Hopefully, yeah, we're we gonna can make that happen. Shoot for Saturday. Go on this one because it's almost eleven. About an hour, hour and twenty minutes. Hour, yeah, one twenty-seven. <laughs> Weird. One twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Code for anal from many years ago. Yeah. One twenty-seven. Oh, well, that's uh, an inside thumb, joke. My thumb smells yeah. like a a charbroiled <laughs> potato. No pun intended. That is an inside <laughs> joke. Four years ago. Oh, no I'm homo. Going to bed. All right. So good night, uh, intern. Yeah. Good night, intern. Good night. Bye. Up for some uh, pool? Oh, you know it. Fantastic. Always. Fantastic. All right. So uh, so we have some e exciting things in the works. We're planning some cool things. We're trying to get involved with the uh, roller derby community in Pinellas Park. Hopefully going to do an on-site live, live show from out there during some roller derby. We're, we're trying for August 24th. It's their next home game in Pinellas Park. Uh, pretty interesting. Next couple weeks, we're going to try and get involved with some charitable organizations that does some laundry. Um, we don't know where they do it. It's usually out in Dunedin somewhere, Dunedin or Palm Harbor area. What we do is... Um, 
go to one of the local laundromats and you know if you can't afford to do your laundry and stuff just come on down we have the detergent with the dryer sheets we got the quarters you come down do your laundry it's pretty awesome um we'll be more info <laughs> yeah feel free feel free well, I have, are you, are I you have more be information on that. I'll put it on the oh, website. Are you going to be there doing your laundry, or are you going to be there hanging Both. out? Both. Come. Feel free. My water bill has increased, so I'll be there doing Hey, flip the switch. <laughs> you say your water bill's increased? It has. It has. You have a child, and you realize all yeah, your, no your utilities spike. You're like, Jesus, this guy's puking on everything, man. What the fuck am I supposed to do? The one good thing I can say is that I have a septic system, so I pay about $11 a month for water. Pretty sweet. Are you on well water? No, no, it's septic. So, so don't, I don't have to pay, pay for, for the waste? water coming. I don't have to pay for the water going out. I have to pay for it coming back, coming Isn't in. Isn't that the biggest goddamn scam you ever heard of in your life? Well, yeah, because once the tank goes bad, it's going to be about six, $800 to get it pumped out. But Not for me. I rent. Eh, whatever. I don't. But I have a septic, too, and I had to have them clean it out. Cost you, you it kind of sucks. Uh, you remember, uh, remember in Christmas Vacation, man, every time I think about like anything like a septic tank or something like that, uh, when I, remember, remember, like, uh, what's his name, uh, Cousin Eddie? Car Clark Griswold. His, his, yeah, Cousin Eddie. And he's like, shitter's full, and he's dumping it into the... Yeah, into the <laughs> sewer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think about that every fucking time. We talk uh, about something like that. Also, uh, apparently we're going to have a band member of the band The Almost, correct? Yeah, we're shooting for that. Who will be on the show. Yeah, he's going to come in, talk uh, whatever, and the music industry. Give us a little inside scoop. But, uh, so, uh, show, you going to be here Saturday night? Uh, I'm doing five in a row, so not four in a row. I don't wanna, yeah, I, I was going to say, for the first that. time, shows above four. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I probably won't, because I, I have to work. I have to be up at five, so. Like Blue Shirt you said, he hits four and then he quits. That's just. Besides, I won't do the quiz very well, so. We don't have another quiz plan. I don't know. I w hey, I, are you smarter than a Hooters girl? I fucking got that both times. Well, hopefully. And then you bring me here Did you hear some of the questions? Well, God, my thumb smells like a kid's cap gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, we got cool stuff on the horizon. Uh, stay posted. Keep an eye on the YouTube page, and we'll give you the details. Yeah, like us.